Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Hey guys, we've got the outcome of a number of spring training battles beginning to take shape. First off, let's talk about Isaiah Kiner Falefa, who was unfortunately the Yankee shortstop last season. He's been taking reps in center field to try and give himself more ways to crack the lineup. This does not surprise me. The Yankees like having guys who can play all over the place, number of different positions, and quite frankly, showing at least a little bit of competency in center field would also help his trade value. He's got some of the worst arm strength in the league, though, so he's going to have to earn his value with his legs out there. Also, this probably officially takes him out of the starting shortstop role because you don't give your starting shortstop reps in center field at this point in spring training. That would be a dumb thing to do even for the Yankees. Cootie and Olney are both reporting that they've heard Oswald Peraza is going to be the starting shortstop. It has not been made official by the team yet, and he has not put up great statistics this spring, although he's looked good when I've seen him. There's still a chance, I think, that Volpe can win the job, and they don't want to make any announcements with this much time left in spring training in case somebody gets hurt. But I think that Oswald Peraza is the best defensive option that the Yankees have at shortstop. He's got a ton of range. He's got a great arm. I think Volpe is probably going to be the better offensive player, but Peraza's got some experience last year, and he showed that he could be a solid hitter as well, potentially a 2020 player, according to Paul O'Neill. That means that Volpe's probably going to have to pick another position on which to stake his claim. Unfortunately, the Yankees have other players ahead of him on the depth chart at both of those possible positions, either third base, where it would be LeMahieu, and for the moment, Josh Donaldson, or at second base, where Glaber Torres is coming off of a pretty good year, although there have been some rumors that the Yankees might be trying to trade him. Volpe has shown that he's a force on offense this spring. He's got power. He's a threat on the bases. He makes hard contact. But in all likelihood, he's going to begin the season at AAA. Wouldn't surprise me to see him playing third base and second base in equal amounts so that they have someone in case Donaldson falls apart or DJ gets hurt or in case Gleyber Torres gets traded. I think it's kind of unfair the way they've treated these kids. Frankly, by the time that they're ready to hit in the major leagues, you really should have a plan in place for them defensively. Reps are how you get good at defense. So, for instance, Instead of Volpe getting those much-needed reps at third base during spring training, we've had to see him play a number of different positions, and now he's going to have to go down to Scranton when he's obviously ready to hit at the big league level. But good things come to those who wait, hopefully. Jason Dominguez is going to begin the season at A, although Hal Steinbrenner was complimentary about him this morning. We knew that this was going to happen as well. Here's the thing, though. I actually agree with this one. A lot of times the better prospects are at double A, and despite his great spring training, he hasn't really gotten the reps that you need at double A yet. I could see him making the jump from double A to the major leagues just like Greg Bird or Juan Soto did, but he'd have to get off to a great start and the Yankees would have to have an outfield need. If you followed spring training, especially if you followed it on this channel, Dominguez has really been the best player that the Yankees have put on the field in camp. I mean, despite being the youngest player to receive a spring training invite, his skills just jump off the screen. He's elevated his prospect status to the point where I don't think he's going to be traded. And at some point in the next 12 to 15 months, he's probably going to crack the Yankees lineup. As far as left field goes, I think Hicks is healthy and he has admittedly looked better this spring. He's gone to a two-handed follow-through, and I still don't have a lot of faith in him defensively. He looked kind of bad in left field, but the Yankees seem to think he's going to turn it around. Personally, from what I've seen this spring, I would give the left field job to Oswaldo Cabrera and let him hold down the fort until the Martian is ready. And if you need to slide Oswaldo to somewhere else in the infield or over to right field for a day, then you can use Hicks as a backup. I don't think Estevan Floreal is going to make the roster. I think there's a high probability that he either gets designated for assignment or gets traded, although you probably won't get much for him. Let me know your thoughts on the spring training battles in the comments, and we'll be back with a season preview here in the next few days. 
I want to wait until they officially announce who the starting shortstop is going to be and kind of announce the final roster or at least have a really good idea as who's going to be on the final roster. I also think there could be a trade here in the next several days. But look forward to a season primer coming out at some point over the next, I don't know, 10 days or so. Take care. Okay.